Stadium opened up in 1928 with a capacity of 7,000. Now it seats almost 60,000, and all of them are expected to be full for today's matchup. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Utah's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. They'll bring him down behind the line. Drop back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Utah is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. And he got it. They're ready for the kick. Number 34, such a return. He's to the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Three down, three down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Three down, three down. Seven's a mic. Check two. Ready, ready, ready. Check three, check three. Run, 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 run. They'll knock him down for a loss. In the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. Third down. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Get up, get up. Again, he'll get the call. And he's taken down at the 26. Behind the line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Fourth down. Taken down at the 41. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Utah is up a field goal. He's got it with room to run. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. That makes it second and six. Check, check, this go, Raver! This go, Raver! Check, three! Check, three! 
Tackle made around the 49 yard line. Game three. Man, left, man, left. That'll bring up third and two. Down. Mike check 33. 33. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. Come on, check three, check three. Run, run, run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Carrier. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. He's under pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. Three yard line. It's third down. Deep ball laying it out there. Got it. Touchdown. Running Utes. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 58-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 27. Reception. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Check three, check three. Caught, and he's hit immediately. No gain on the play. Let's make these babies cry all the way That'll back. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Seven to five. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Utah staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half, where they've gotten off to a great start so far. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Nice play fake. And he's level at the 38. And we 
we've reached the end of one. Ten nothing, Utah. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. At about the 33-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Number 42 takes him down behind the line at the 10-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 10-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Five wide. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. He's at midfield, knocked out of bounds at the 49. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Gives it to the back. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 43. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. Roger, Roger. That makes it second and two. Up the middle for a nice gain. Fires it out. He's 
taken down. Right around the 44-yard line. He gets to about the 27-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gives it off. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 29-yard line, second down. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Gain of four on the play. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Arizona is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. The Utes looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter. Kirby, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going. Again. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Good open field tackle. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down at about the 49. That brings up second and one. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. First down. Fires right side, got his tailback. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. They come out in a five-wide set. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. Number 38 makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and ten. So at the end of the half, the Utes lead 13-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis Davis. 
Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, Number thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. They go back to the run, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third down and 13. Ball on the 34. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's finally tackled at the 14. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. No game. That makes it third and three. West number 29, 29. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're going to go for the easy three here, and they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Kickoff returns 23 yards. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Utah up seven points. Delayed handoff. He tackles him for a loss. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 25. Quick throw, and they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. He 
He's scrambling. Fumble! Recovered by the offense. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And he shoved out of bounds at the 38-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the halfback. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That makes it second and two. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Deep pass to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And did he ever lay out to pull that one in? Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 38-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Arizona kicked this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check First out the foul. penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Not over here. Fires out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 37 yard line. First down. He goes downtown. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 44 yard line. Makes the tackle. That's a gain of 19 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Check 
Throws into coverage, just picked off. Big opening. Still on his feet. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Toss across the middle. He's taken down around the 23 yard line. And now he's got room to run. And he's level at the eight yard line. Takes it right side for a good game. Call the game of six yards. That brings up second and goal. That's the end of three, and get ready for an action-packed fourth quarter with this game all tied up. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Mike Seven. Mike Seven. I need you all day. Get out. All day. Seven. Touchdown, Arizona. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 31-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 20-13. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. There's a play fake. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's tackled at about the 35. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Run play and he'll lose yards. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike, check, 33. 33. Throws complete, and he's got room to work. Steps out of bounds around the 40-yard line. First down. Caught, open field. He lost the ball. The offense scoops it up. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That was very close to being a total disaster for this offense. They need some points desperately and almost blew that chance. They've got to take better care of the football. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. Mike check, 33. 33. 
Brought down at the 23. On the tackle. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. There's a strike complete. He's down. The tackle. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Mike Schiff, 33. 33. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Game of two yards. Man left, man left. That'll bring up third and inches. He's got an opening. Touchdown, Utah. So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. The Wildcats having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. Early in the fourth quarter, Who's going to make a play? Which team's going to come out on top? We're in a tie game, and we're about to find out. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 22. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. He throws right, and it's incomplete. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. From their own 22-yard line, third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Got a man, watch out here, and he's taken down right around the 34. it to his wide receiver and he's got another one and down he goes at the 43 that brings up second and one Mike seven Mike seven ladder's back he's on the run he's at the 40 they'll bring him down at the 32 Zips it to the back. He's at the 20. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Wildcats. So the momentum is swung one way. Will it swing back the other? The offense taking the field right now will have the answer for us. He makes the PAT, a nine-play, 81-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Utah's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Utah's going to use their first time out of the half here. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems. He's taken down at the 45. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and four. We have less than a minute to go. He scrambles. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Five wide. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Utah will take their final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. one's in the books. The Wildcats get the win, 27-20. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.